Hello and welcome back. Today's video is on basic insulation. It is the radius bend. This is our radius bend here. Our uh, bend is a 3 inch bend, nominal ball. It has 25mm of insulation on it. This is how I would teach you to uh, learn to do a 3 hand bend. This is what we're going to learn to do. This is one that I prepared earlier. So we've got a 90 degree three hand bend, it has three segments, a starter and a finish. Let's just smooth that out of the way. Right, what we've got here, this is a plan view of that bend. So what we've got, we've got the centre radius here, it's four and a half inch centre radius and that's this line here. So it comes from here, centre on your dividers, work it out, put your D diameter on there and there. So this represents your insulation, this dashed line here. And this is the start of our bend, this is the finish of our bend, and this is the inside radius, and this is the outside radius. So what we've done is we've made it from the inside radius, so we're taking it from here, put on four and a half, drawing it in, and then put on the diameter and mark that out. So let's turn this around and learn how to make it. First of all, this is the pipe. So as you can see, if we just put that on there, you can see that fits perfectly into our plan view. The insulation on either side, and our divisions going through for our cuts. So, move that out of the way. The stainless steel pipe, yes, it's covered in aluminium foil, and this is to protect the pipe from the insulation because it mixes with the sweat and grease on your hands and can cause corrosion, believe it or not. So the uh, spec now is on stainless steel and copper. You cover the pipe with foil and then you insulate over the top. Right, so let's move that out of the way. And this is how we would use this plan view here. We take our tape measure. This is our first segment divided into two here. So we've got a starter and a finisher. So what you do is just measure up to the top of that line there. In this case, we have four and five eighths. So on your section, measure in four and five eighths. Just there, mark it up. Use your trusted pad saw and just put in line so you can see it and then measure in the other side for your throat we've got three and five eighths so just measure in three and five eighths there and just mark that your pad saw like that so you've got two lines now all you need to do is just physically cut between the two lines and that will give you your start so you just cut between the two lines like that and that, just that out of the way, gives you your first piece which just sits in there like that. So that's your first piece and it comes to this line and it comes to the bottom of the page of the plan view. So we just move that to one side, put that up there. So what we need to do now is put three segments and then our finisher. So you'd measure across the back there. So you can see there a lot, just across the back, which is three inches. And across the throat, which is 18 mil. So on the back, marking three inches. And just mark across like this. And in the throat, marking 18 mil. And again, just put in a scratch line like that. And then just cut between the two lines. So you're looking down that side of the line and down there, and just cut straight through. You notice through the insulation saw, you don't get any mess. So you know they really are. A good saw to have, they're really good for cutting mineral wool, which is what we're doing today. 
So that represents a segment there and as you can see it fits perfectly on the plan view. So we just move that up the top there and what we need to do now is do another one of those. So on the back measure in three inches, put in three inches and put in a line with your pad saw so you can see it. Which is just a cut off joint, so by the way, for those who haven't watched my channel before, and then 20 mil, sorry, 18 mil, and again the same, like that up, and just cut between the two lines. Again, we'll just offer that to the fan view so you can see. Absolutely perfect, fits lovely between the lines. So we've got two segments now and our starter. So we can see our bend is really coming along. So let's move them out of the way and we need to cut another segment. So let's get that done. So that again, that's three inches on the back. So just mark across three inches. Put in a cut line. Like and again on the throat, 18 mil. And again, put in your cut line. You can't see that in the camera view. Um, I've got a marker pen here. I'll just mark that on so you can actually see it. I should have done that from the beginning. So that's our cut line going there. And the other one is just there. So there's our cut line. So you can actually see them. I'm not sure if you could see that. I don't think you could. So we just cut between the two lines again, like that. View and that fits lovely between the lines, absolutely spot on. That is right. So, all we need to do now is again we just measure from the largest point, so that's four and a half. So, we'll measure down four and a half, which is just there. Mark that in. line there and we just need to cut that off. So we'll cut that off. And that's our end starters, finishes and segments all cut. So what we'll do now is we'll fit them to the pipe. So we're going to bring the pipe in. There's our pipe, and we're just going to fit all our pieces onto there. So we'll start down the bottom here, and we'll start it, and we'll just put that on the pipe. And what we'll do is we'll just secure that with a bit of foil tape. So you can see it going on and it's not opening up. So that goes in there. Take a segment and fit that in there. As you can see, it's a nice snug fit. Get out of the segment and we'll just put that on there. Segment. 
and finally the finisher. So then you take the foil tape and go across all the seams like this. Again, this side. Normally you'd have this tied to your waist, but for today, just for convenience, I'm just doing this in my hands just to demonstrate. Again. And finally, this seam. And once you've got all those on, you take one of these cards and you just go around it like that. The reason for that is, is that the uh, floor tape is pressure sensitive and just needs to be pushed into place like that. And same on that side. So there we have it. That is our bend. As you can see I put it back onto our drawing and it fits absolutely perfectly so thank you very much for watching my video please remember to like share and subscribe and as always it is practice that makes perfect thank you very much until next time goodbye